Hey guys, um, this is I believe the third community analysis I'll be doing. So a few days ago, user this posted this video. I said I would get to it over the weekend, and yeah, it's Monday for me, so a bit late. So apologies for that, but let's get started. So the guy we're looking at is the guy in the back with the gray shirt. I haven't watched this, so this might take a while, but. Was it out? Okay, it was out. Oh, no, he's in. So I'm having a bit of time. Okay, it's the green lines. Because I was going to say that your position here, you're a bit late coming back to the midcourt, and I can't comment on your length of your clears as well, so I can't see, um, you know, his side. But it looks like they're a bit short if he's able to just like kind of just hop and get behind it like that. So your stance, you're way too far upright. Um, the only reason I rewind it is because it, that looked like the second time you struggled to get a flick. Um, again, I can't really tell how close or far you're standing from the T. Um, but if you're standing similar distance as this guy, so one racket length is usually a good measure. Um, you should be fine. Your position should be fine. It's just that your stance is way too upright. And when you're upright like this, you can't really change your gravity or your center of gravity that well. So if you like look at professional single players, they'll be really wide even in the receivable or even in the receiving of the service just so they can either push forward with their back leg um, to get the short or they can push back with their front leg so they can catch the flakes. But yeah, just too upright. Rio. So here, um, Smashes on flicks are usually a bad idea because you're off balance um, and a smash is a fast shot. So if they get it back, the reply is always fast. But it doesn't mean it, it doesn't work. So if you want to smash, um, I would have smashed here. Like you can see, like he hasn't even moved at all from the flick. So if he had smashed straight, um, it would have been automatic point. Like look how easy that was for him to get. He literally just, just boop, and then he got it. So keep that in mind. Better option would be to, again, the same thing. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll pause. So, um, what was I saying? So a better option would be to drop or clear. Um, you can even do a fast drop in a, or attack clear, so a slightly, um, not like a high loopy clear, more of a sh like shorter clear is what the word I'm looking for, sorry. Um, but yeah, it looks like here, like he just, he's abusing your um, poor, Report forward, and just, he's just gonna keep flicking you. So again, here you get this one, but again, look how like late and under pressure you are. Like you're not doing yourself any services, any favors with these um, smashes. Good lift though. Nice, nice. Good. So. I think this will come with time, but like, uh, this block is a little, a little too high, but at this level, it's fine. Good lift. Good, good anticipation for the lift back. Um, I think here, you need to start running immediately forward. If you're confident in your smashes, and like, this was a good time to smash. Um, the opponent is unlikely to play something like a lift back up because they're just reacting to the shot. So in this situation, like push back to that forehand corner, smash, and then just start running to the front. Here, the reserve or the 
the reply was so weak that you could just walk and get it. But when you get better, um, it won't be the case. So it's just a good habit to like smash. And if it's like a good opportunity, run. Alright, so a few things. If you're gonna just both flick each other, I think the like just sticking with the like the underhand surf, like in women's singles, would be a better option. Um, that's just a side note. So here, the drop could be a little bit faster. You see, there's a little bit of a loop. That's just a bit of a critique. And as you can see, that's what throws you off guard here. Because he's able to get so much time and he's able to, he has a lot of options because if he has much time, um, don't do this. Um, ideally, you would just bend over or bend back and get it like that. That will just let you produce more power, even if you're just even clear. Um, because at higher levels, if someone saw you do that, they would just run up and kill it down. Just because you can't really produce much power in that situation. All right, good clear. Looks like that was good length. There you go. Good. Let's look at the dry again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so to let. I would say the biggest things that I would change about these two rally or this rally is this. I'd prefer the smash. Um. To be like either towards the lines, or it'd be a drop. Um, it looks like you're just like really off balance on that shot. Um, it it just like in my book was not a risk worth taking. Backhand is fine. I'm watching again just to see if it would, if it would be possible for you. Yeah, you, I think you could have gotten to that when you're around the head. Um, I've been taught, and I think a lot of players are taught, like to just not use backhands if you can help it. Um, and I would suggest here doing the same, it just gives you more options. I think the clear was a good choice just because he was creeping up, he was like right here, so. Okay, so it's a let. Yeah, so right, right there, could have easily gotten to your, around the head. Yeah. Uh, have the discipline, basically, to use the energy. Um, across, backhand clear is usually a tactical error. Like, as you can see, that really only went to his mid-court. And if playing against a better person, would have just punished that immediately. There you go. So this... It's a bit high. Um, but yeah, it was good here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Better, better. Yeah, as you can see, when flicks become predictable, and that was just really bad. That was right here. That would be an example of a good time to smash. On the flick server, I mean. On the drops, um, don't be afraid to have pace in them. Just make sure that they're down and they're like they have a little bit of pace. It looks like here the reason why you weren't able to do that drop was because you were trying to make it like Taisu Ying style and like land super close to the net, um, which is really hard to pull off, 
especially if you're off balance. So. Good. Yeah, so again, um, the rear court footwork needs work because, like, he's smashing from like what looks like big court. Good. Unlucky, unlucky. Not bad. If you, are you definitely, if you had your racket a bit higher, you definitely could have just driven it. Down like a bit more, a bit more offensive. Right. Yeah. A7. That's uh, room for improvement, more than an actual critique. There you go. Yeah. Unlucky, unlucky. Again, a half smash there would also be fine. Don't always have to use all your power. Okay, so you flick served here. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of flicks in this game. Again, the straight, this entire side is open. And you don't always have to respond to flicks with power either. Take your racket. Um, so your nets, you need to take it higher. As you can see, your racket is literally at the bottom of the net. So that's a lot of time the net, the shuttle has to travel for going over the net. Gives the opponent a lot of time to react. So take it higher, and your quality will get better, and also the time they have to react is less. Also, your arm is completely straight, which is hard to it's hard to control the racket. You want like a little bit of a bend. In both the uh, in both the elbow and in the wrist, that just gives a more stable platform, and the racket face will like naturally point down a little bit, which is what you want. Here is basically vertical, which is uh, it's hard to control it when it's like that and get the distance needed. So again here, um, ha if you keep your racket up, like I know it's singles, but um, keeping your racket even like a little bit higher would help you just catch that around the head. Um, instead of doing the backhand, which again, goes mid-court, yeah. Again, take it higher. Out, yeah. There you go. Um, one critique is your your defense doesn't always have to be like these pushes. It this feels more like a double sting. If you just barely, if you do like a long net, so like if you do like a, a soft shot that goes over the net and like it lands around here, I think that's that's a lot better. That's usually what the default re response is because it makes them move up and it makes them have to lift it. A little better. If 
by the way, his serve is way too high. I'm just letting you know. Again, take it higher. Again, here. Like, you're already there. Like, just bring the racket up. Even if you're going to play a lift, having the having your racket up higher um, threatens the opponent more just because they have to worry about that short, um, the short, the short shot more. So even if you're playing a net or even if you're playing a lift, like do it like that. Here I would have played a straight. Like as you can see, like his, his footwork, he's already anticipating the cross. Yeah. Yeah, back in. Especially like on a high lift like that, you have so much time to get around the end. Better. Yeah, see there you go. You're taking the, you're taking that um, shot a bit higher, and you can see it's a bit faster. Um, he doesn't know what to do. Yada yada. So you did that on the backhand, do, make sure to do it on the forehand as well. There, there you go, get around the head. Better, better. No, 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 no. If you notice, every time that you clear in the forehand, you get his smashes back. Because the quality, the clear, the length, I guess, is likely to be better. So it's his attack is less threatening. But every time you have done a backhand clear, you haven't been able to get a smash. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Um, so that's better. So this is a better paced um, half smash because it still threatens them. Honestly, it should be a little bit better. But like, I, this is a lot better than the flawed smash that you were doing earlier. Um, right here, I would have just played something soft. I would have just. Um, just blocked it to the net right here, forced a lift, you got in the attack already. There's not always a need to use power. Look. Yeah. Back in clear, unforced error. What's in, yeah? Yeah. Mmm, better. Um, good, good, good. I think there, in that situation, you kind of, like, paused and, like, wanted to show... You wanted to hold the shot, right? But the problem you have is that your racket face was like this. So there is no way you're going to play a straight shot. If you want to hold a shot and kind of deceive the opponent like that, and that's straight, you need to show the straight and then switch it at the last moment. In that case, if you're going to approach the racket or approach the shuttle with a side face, you need to immediately do um, the cross net because there's no deception. So you're pressuring the opponent with movement pressure. Um, not deception. So, um, I don't know if that makes sense. So let me try and explain it again. Um, so like here, you're not showing the straight, um, but you're still like, you're not immediately playing it. Like you're waiting, so you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and now you play it. There is no benefit to that. The shot's slower, but there was no deception. So you just gave your opponent like an easier time is what I mean.
Eis. Again, backhand clear. Gets the point. Uh, I would try backhand drops because also like he's now just used to the backhand um, clear. Like his footwork is pointing towards his back corner, um, which shows that you're 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 predictable. It shows that this is your only response. So. What happened here? Okay. Um, I know that was long. Um, so to recap things, I think footwork is your biggest area that lacks. Um, the wide stance, or you need a wider stance. Um, you need a bit more split step. Um, and then like, I think the second biggest thing is not really a tactical error, it's more of a mentality. Um, I'm seeing a lot of power um, and not much of anything else. So I think in your train, if you do training, I would really focus on softer shots and accuracy and placement. Because singles is a game about um, moving the opponent more than it is hitting through the opponent. Um, so what I mean by that is like in singles, there's one person that's covering the entire court. So, um, it's really more important that you hit the lines or you have tight net shots or you have good length on your clears and lifts than it is having it like a super duper, like ultimate smash. Um, especially at this level, like you could win rallies solely just based on moving people around and tiring them out. Um, you both clearly have power. Um, so it's really more about. Um, focusing on movement, getting to the shots early, having good racket preparation. Um, your backhand in particular, you need to really practice your around the head footwork, so not hitting it with the backhand. Um, I personally, I have been training for like two years now, um, like almost every day, five to six days a week. And only now have I really felt comfortable enough to use the backhand in um like a, in a match um i will always commit to using around the head um for the most part um and you really solely only use backhand for emergencies and if you are in a situation where you need to use the backhand don't always just use the clear um backhand drops are, are fine um they need to have a little bit of pace to them because if not they're going to play a tight shot and put you under more pressure so um to recap things again, sorry, I, I tend to ramble. Um, full work, wider stance, good racket prep um, in front, in the front court, and um, around the head full work um, in particular. Hope this helps. If not, let me know. Um, I love helping people out. So feel free to message me in the Discord or anything, and I'll free. Oh, I'd love to explain any concepts that may have been misunderstood. For everyone else, um, if you're interested in analysis like this, just put in the self highlights, Discord uh, channel in the Discord with the link in the below, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe.